Lord Jesus, come, come to stay with me today. Come and be my guest today. Stay for all throughout the day. Lord, I am not worthy that you come to live in me. You say a word and I shall be healed. Yes, I shall be healed. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come to live with me today. Teach me how to live my day. Guide me on the path of pride. Lord, I am not worthy that you come to live in me. You say a word and I shall be healed. Yes, I shall be healed. This mass is offered to the Diocese of Vijayawada, Ajit Singh Nagar Parish. This mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donors, Inti Mary Jayakumari for blessing, good health and good future for children, and also for departed souls of the family members. Thanksgiving mass for all the graces received by Inti family members. Today's Rosary Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy are are also offered for this family and their intentions. Bishop of Warangal, Apostolic Administrator of Kammam Diocese, and Divyavani TV Chairman, Most Reverend Udmala Bala, on the occasion of his birthday today, wishing him God's blessing, good health, long life, offered. Holy Mass by the Divyavani TV CEO and the staff. Also, this Mass is offered for Deputy Secretary TCBC, Father Raju Alex, that is myself. On the occasion of my birthday, I shared with Bishop Udumala Bala the birthday greetings, praying for my good health, for long life, offering this Mass and also being offered by Devayavani TV, CEO, and the staff. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Be with you all and with your spirit. My dear friends, we are gathered here to celebrate the 11th ordinary Sunday of the year. It's also important to know that we have already come into the ordinary time of the year to celebrate the salvation. And after coming into the celebration of salvation, we first come on to this 11th Sunday where the readings will speak about God's call. God has called us. He very clearly tells, you did not choose me, I chose you. And therefore, if God has taken the first initiative to choose us, there is something that he wants from us. There is something very specific that he desires from us. And that is how his mission is, that is how he works his kingdom of God. Today let us ask the Lord, the call that God has given me, am I faithful? Am I doing the will of God? Am I following his commands? Whether I am able to do it or whether I am falling short of the call of God. Let us ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Just like how Jesus shows mercy upon the crowd, he shows compassion. If we have faltered in our call, here our God comes. Jesus comes with a compassionate heart to forgive us. 
I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, you my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest glory is to His people on earth. Glory to God in the highest glory is to His people on earth. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. We sing glory, 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 glory. Glory to the Lord, we sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. Almighty God and Heavenly King, we worship and give you thanks. We praise and bless you, Father Almighty, and we sing glory forever. We sing glory. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, You are the Lamb of God. Have mercy on us, O Lord Jesus, Hear our trial before us. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord, we sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord, we sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. You are the Lord, the one and holy, with the Holy Spirit. You are the only Lord God most time, and we sing glory forever. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. We sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. We sing glory, glory. Glory, glory to the Lord, we sing glory, 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 glory to the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without your mortal fidelity can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deed. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 19, verses from 2 to 6. In those days, the people of Israel set out from Rephidim and came into the wilderness of Sinai, and they encamped in the wilderness. There Israel encamped before the mountain, while Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him out of the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob and tell the people of Israel, You yourselves have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession among all the peoples, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response real psalm, your response shall be. We are his people. The sheep of his flock We are his people The sheep of his flock Cry out with joy to the Lord All the earth So the Lord with gladness Come before him singing for joy we are his people the sheep of his blood know that he the Lord is God he made us we belong to him we are his people the sheep of his flock We are his people The sheep of his flock In dear how good is the Lord Eternal his merciful love He is faithful from age to we are his people, the sheep of his blood. If we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more shall be saved by his life. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 5, verses from 6 to 11. Brethren, while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die, but God shows his love for us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since, therefore, we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now re received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I 
name forever I will bless your name forever I will bless your name forever My God, my King I will bless your name forever I will bless your name forever I will bless your name forever My God, my King I will give you glory, O oh Lord, my King I will bless your name forever I will bless you day after day And praise your name forever Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia The Lord be with you And also with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 3 to 10. At that time, when Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly, to the Lord of harvest, to send out laborers into his harvest. And he called to them the twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal every disease and every affliction. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, who is called Peter and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Elpheus, and Thaddeus, Simon, the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing to them, Go nowhere among the, decide, among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and proclaim as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons, you received without paying, give without paying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, as I were coming here to celebrate this Eucharist, I went to meet a sister, a reverend sister, and I told her I have to rush because I have to go and celebrate this Mass. And then she said, Father, I have something to share. She told me that her vocation was saved because she came to Holy Trinity Church, Begumpet. I was shocked. I said I was the parish priest that time. And she said, I came there, I was almost at the verge of leaving my vocation. I was at the moment where I felt like I have to decide and leave my commitment that I have made as a nun. And I have decided finally. Then when she came to that church, at that very moment, my assistant parish priest who went to decide the church, he seen and he just told that sister who was praying in the church, the Lord had told me to go inside the church and there is somebody who is in need of you. 
and there were two, one lay person and another was this nun. And this nun was not willing to share at all at, in the beginning. But the priest insisted, the Lord is telling me that there is something that you want. And finally, it took a lot of effort of that nun. I won't tell the name of her, but somehow or other, it took a lot of time for her. Finally, the priest decided and said, the Lord has chosen you and he doesn't want you to leave your congregation. You are very specially chosen. And you won't believe, my dear friend, this nun was expressing how the Lord has sent a person to save her vocation. And today on the very 11th Sunday of the year, we have very clearly the church reminds us of the call by God. God has called each and every one of you. And therefore, if you have been called, that means there is something special that the Lord has seen in you. That he has pointed his finger at you and said, I need you, come. And this is exactly what he did as we hear in today's gospel reading, all the twelve apostles. They were unqualified people. They were fishermen. They were not worthy of handling spiritual things in their life. They were not exactly what he expected, but rather he looked at their simplicity. He looked into their very self and he said, I make you fishers of men. He told them, come follow me. And that was the call of God for them. And therefore the first reading very clearly, beautifully puts the two ways that God calls. One is in the Old Testament we see the covenant. The covenantal way how God calls Israel. God's chosen ones. He called them as his own people. So the entire battalion of Israel were called by God. Chosen people. And when we come into the New Testament, we see Jesus Christ. The second way of calling. The new covenantal type. The new covenant that God has called his disciples. Therefore, the first reading shows us how God Yahweh called the people of Israel as his own people. And Jesus Christ in the New Testament in today's gospel reading, he calls all the twelve and he says, this is what you have to do. And we see very clearly what he says, go nowhere among the, among the Gentiles and enter no town of Samaritans. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What does this exactly mean? If he has chosen you for a particular purpose, if he has called you by name, and if he has made you his disciples, there is a very important mission that he is giving to each one of us. And that is, he says, go to the lost sheep of Israel. In those days, the lost sheep of Israel were the Jewish people. But today, who are the lost sheep? Well, during Easter season, we go for house blessings. And normally I take one altar boy, one youth, and one of the council members to guide me for the Easter house blessings. And as we go from one colony to the other, some of the parish council members or the youth will say, Father, Father, don't go into that house. They are not coming to our church. Don't come, don't go to that house. They don't come to our church even though they are Catholics. They go to other church. And it is at that time I tell them, we have to go to the lost sheep of Israel. They have left our church. They have left our faith. But it is not our duty that we should go and do that to bring them back. Let us go, come on. Even if they don't open the door, we'll say, hi, hello, you. You're keeping good health. We used to barge into their houses. We used to knock their door, when they open, we go inside. 
you won't believe these lost sheep of Israel welcome us so dearly. And they say, Father, we are so blessed that you have come. Which shows that they are lost in their own world. And that is one reason why Jesus calls you for a specific purpose. For a desire that he may fulfill all that he wanted. Therefore, the famous covenant of God, which we heard in today's uh, first reading, made to Moses, is the same covenant and relationship that Jesus is asking you, I have chosen you, you be my own, you do my work. As human beings, my dear friends, we must have heard his call. Some of you must have ignored it. Some of you must have heard about it. Or some of you must have personally heard Jesus calling you. If you have ignored, I think you need to search for that call again. If you have heard it, you must have said immediately, yes, yes, Lord, I will definitely think about it. I will join maybe some congregation or I will join the seminary. You must have thought about it. But after a few days, as a human as we are, we fail. And that is quite common with us. We are quick to say yes. We believe and will be faithful, but that of our covenantal relationship. However, most of the time, we fail. Does God count your failure? He doesn't count. He still waits because he has already chosen you and in his eternal plan, he has that, you have to do that plan for him. And that is why when people ask me, Father, how did you get your vocation? I'll say, well, I did not get a dramatic way of a vision coming, Jesus coming and calling. No. I had a feeling within myself that I want to be a priest. And I used to nurture that thought. As I nurtured that thought, I got that feeling, yes, I think this is my way of life that I have to begin with. Then I joined the seminary. And after joining the seminary, I was wondering whether I'm really chosen. And after my diet, I was still wondering whether I'm really chosen. And after my priest also still, I am searching why God, you have called me. He called me maybe 1975. But now I still find that God is calling me. Therefore, I will always say vocation is a call of God. As you enter into it, as you nurture it, as you grow with it, you will be confirmed of your call that God needs you for his mission. And then it becomes a realized act. And that is how I still see, I will still say that I'm searching why God has called me. I'm fulfilling his obligations. I'm for so many years, for three decades, I'm a priest. And if it is so, it is still God is telling, yes, I need you to do now this type of work. And after a few years, he'll tell, I want you to do this type of work. And if I say, no, Lord, then I'm abandoning him. Therefore, there is one fear that we will be like sheep without a shepherd. That's what Jesus felt. They were all like sheep without a shepherd. And as God and his son continuing to show God's mercy and compassion, we must also show that same love and compassion to our brothers and sisters. More especially when you search and find within your children. Be compassionate to your children. Be loving to your children. And maybe God is calling them. Finally, I like to tell you that our call has a very unique purpose and a specific message from God. That is how you will do because when you are put into the field, it is like you're telling, Lord, plant me wherever. I will bloom in your name. That is what you need to be. Therefore, 
Jesus Christ is not discriminating anyone here by choosing only few selected people. No, he wants everyone to be his disciples. And he calls someone very special. That is why Mother Teresa says, she had a call within a call. And I would say, I have a vocation and within that vocation, there is another vocation for me to work for various reasons, for various purposes, for the call of God to be fulfilled. That is the reason why we start his mission every day. We continue his mission every day. And his mission cannot die. And that is why the church cannot die. And if you are really bothered about the church, you will continue to give your sons and daughters to the church. If you are not going to give because you families are important. Without you we are nowhere. It is because of you I come from a family. It is because of you we have priests. And therefore if Jesus is calling so many of ordinary fishermen and ordinary men, he also calls your son. Maybe he's calling your grandson. Maybe he's calling your granddaughter. Maybe he's calling your daughter for a specific purpose. If at all your child says, I think that I have a feeling I want to become a priest or a nun. You need to nurture it. Because God has chosen. And if you have lost your way, it is he who is coming behind you to confirm that call. Amen. We have the creed now. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and I in believe Jesus, in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only, only Son, our Lord. Our Lord. Who was, was conceived, conceived by, by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, Christ Jesus, God, has made us a priestly people to be in his service and the service of others. Jesus has shown us how to do his will. Let us ask the Father to keep us always in communion with him and our fellow human beings in love and service. Our response will be, Lord, help us to live as a community of love. Lord, Lord help, help us, to, us live to live as, as a, a community, community of, love. of love. That the people who have been chosen, our Pope, Bishop, Priests, and all ordained ministers may ever be conscious through the word and example. Pray and strive to build up the people of God as a loving, united and serving community. We pray, Lord, help, help us, us to, to live, live as, as a community, community of, of love. love. That all who believe in Christ may overcome the differences and divisions that exist among them and be united in love and communion and live as one flock under one shepherd, we pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to, live to live as, as a community, community of, of love. love. That the people, especially the church, may truly be priestly people living in love and service to God and to all his people manifest the spirit of simplicity and self-service. Your response? 
Lord, Lord help, help us, us to live as a, as a community, community of, of love. love. That in times of strife and natural calamities and epidemics that the leaders of all the members of the church may reach out to the needy to the to establish peace and concord and to offer them to necessary help to experience your loving touch through their fraternity especially as we pray for all those who are affected by the recent cyclone in Gujarat and also to dawn peace in Manipur that people may start living in peace. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to live as, as a community, community of, of love. love. That all chill Christians everywhere may recognize their vocation to participate in the priestly mission of Christ and live in loving community with God, avoiding all evil and doing what is good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to live, live as, as a, a community, community of, of love. love. Let us now silently pray for our personal and local needs. Whisper a prayer for all those who have offered this Mass. Whisper a prayer for Bishop Udmal Abala, who celebrates his birthday. Whisper a prayer for me also as I celebrate my birthday. And also my classmate priest, Tumma Joseph, Father Tumma Joseph. Pray for vocations from your families. See that you give one child to the church. God our Father, we thank you for giving us your only Son as your loving gift to reconcile us with you and to save us. Give us the grace to live our lives sincerely as your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters, of this sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise and, and glory of His name, name for, for our, our good, good and, and the, the good of church. all His holy church. O God, who in this offering present here provide for twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance that they provide 
may not fall and fail in our body or in our spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, only Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, for through His Paschal mystery He accomplished the marvelous deed by which He has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty word. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominion and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Pula Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by Jesus' divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art what in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Judgment and condemnation, but real loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy and resurrection from the dead. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Save 
eyes be thou my saving guest blood of my savior bathe me in thy tide wash me waters gushing from his side strength and protection may his passion be Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee. God, and defend me from the former life. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Thank you, Father. Liberation